Have you ever come across a video on the internet of a robot and just get really extremely creeped out? Humanoid AI and robots really tend to disturb people, and that is called the Uncanny Valley. Now, Uncanny Valley is when some kind of entity or thing looks human, but something's just off. So it could be like their eyes, nose, like mouth, the way they talk. Their limbs could be elongated or they could have no limbs at all. The person who came up with this idea is Masahiro Mori, a robotics professor in 1970 in his book, Bakumi no Tani. The book title literally translates into Uncanny Valley. What Mori thought was the original reason for this was when a robot looked more human, people tend to be more empathetic and caring. However, when the robot surpasses the fact of looking human, it just turns people to be repulsed by it. The more the robot looked human though, the more that people would have turned in positive results. Now there are other theories as to why we feel off about sort of things like ambiguity and mixed elementals. But the main theory that why we feel this way is because something in our evolution caused us to fear it. Now it could be something like a predator was trying to look as human as possible, or even something that would mimic us just to lure us somewhere and, you know, kill us. But <laughs> so there are many examples that genuinely really creep me out. The one that is like the icing on the cake is the I Feel Fantastic video. I feel fantastic. This terrifies me. Like ever since like a couple years ago, I would be so scared of this. And I'm still so scared of this because why does it look like that? It's from like what, 2004? I don't know if it's the quality of the video, the music, the voice, or the actual person, but this is Tara the Android. And she first surfaced on the internet in 2004 by John Bergeron. The next example is a mecha. A mecha is a robot with a silicone face. The silicone has sensors underneath the material so the robot can track anything like that's moving. So that includes like people, like balls, water, like literally just anything that moves. The robot can recreate any like human emotion, like even yawning, shrugging, like it'll even shush you if you're being too loud. Emeka was built in Engineered Arts Headquarters in Falmouth, Cornwall, UK. The last robot we are going to be going over. The Talonoid R1 isn't necessarily a more humanoid robot. Sure, it has a head and torso and like half arms. It has elbows, but it doesn't have arms. This Geminoid reminds people more of a fetus than an actual human. So Talonoid R1 was made in August of 2010. It is 80 centimeters tall and is used for communication. It can relay messages to its owner. It has no sensors, so it thankfully wouldn't know where you are. Bitch. If I had that ugly thing in my house, like if my mom ordered that off Amazon and was just like, oh my god, look what I got, sweetie. Like now your friends can talk to you. Like I'm jumping out a window. This thing really gives me the creeps. Anyways. That's all. Bye.